morning, Woodrow Wilson Middle School. This is Aubrey Stevens, Abby Mayer, and Abby Brown with your Wilson bus. The mother of a girl injured in 2014 sledding accident. Five thousand dollars limp sum pay payment as part of a settlement with the school district insurance company. Valerie Potter was for, was 14. A friend slid down a hill and hit a chain link fence. Teen faces long recovery after sledding accident. A lawsuit filled by Valerie's mother says both of Valerie's legs were fractured and an artery in her left knee was torn. Shortly after the accident, Valerie's grandfather told KETV she had two surgeries to fix a damaged artery. The lawsuit says Papillion La Vista Community Schools failed to post a sign or otherwise warn people of the danger, despite knowing that people often get stumped, and often struck the, flood, the fence while sledding. An Amber Alert has been issued for a three-year-old girl who went missing Saturday in Richardson after her father allegedly told her to stand outside alone for not finishing her milk. Sharon Matthews was last seen by her father, Wesley, outside the family's backyard in the 900 block of Sunningdale. The Richardson Police Department wrote on Facebook Saturday, the three-year-old went missing around 3 a.m. Saturday after her father allegedly told her to stand by a tree near an alley outside their home as punishment for not finishing her milk. Sergeant Kevin... Perlich told Tron.com Monday morning when Wesley Matthews went to check on Sharon. Roughly 15 minutes later, she was gone. That's it so for the Wilson, Wilson Buzz. Buzz. See you next week, Wilson. Hey, Wilson, it's Tommy here. And Caden. Oh, we're having a crowd with roughly 50 people, and two of them got shot. This incident happened in North Omaha at 12.54 a.m. The police were called at about 12.30 a.m. about a crowd of people gathering to fight near 45th and Fowler Avenue. The officers heard a gunshot and then found a 19-year-old named Brandon Gee who had been shot at 54th and Meredith Avenue. Brandon was then taken to the Nebraska Medical Center. Police say the injuries are not life-threatening. At around 2.42 a.m., a person who was shot arrived at the hospital, and after speaking with him, police thought he was injured in the same incident. No one has been arrested yet. There's been an Omaha-based anti-bullying campaign which has spread anti-bullying message to roughly half a million students. The milestone was met when Millard North Middle High School students watched a play on bullying principal Scott that the program is an important part of the school's anti-bullying effort. There was a total of two performances. The actors used one hour to deliver an anti-bullying message. The program was performed by a group named Respect. See you next week, Wilson. Hey, Wilson. It's Emily and Madison with the weather. Monday, October 16th, it's going to be sunny with a high of 65 and a low of 49. On Tuesday, October 17th, it's going to be sunny with a high of 69 and a low of 51. On Wednesday, October 18th, it's going to be mostly sunny with a high of 72 and a low of 58. On Thursday, October 19th, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 73 and a low of 59. On Friday, October 20th, it's going to be mostly sunny with a high of 72 and a low of 57. Saturday, October 21st, it's going to be mostly sunny with a high of 69 and a low of 54. On Sunday, October 22nd, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 66 and a low of 51. Its maximum sustained winds have dropped 35 miles per hour. The center said adding in elevated water levels from the surge in areas along the Gulf Coast would gradually subside Sunday afternoon. The Hurricane Nay Center discounted all warnings and advisories as a result of the weakening of the storm. Nate made its U.S. landfall near the Blue Lock Sea, Mississippi, shortly after midnight the Sunday as a Category 1 hurricane hours earlier. It had made it for a landfall near the mouth of the Mississippi River in the southeast Louisiana with winds 85 miles per hour, according to the Hurricane Center. It was the first hurricane to make the to make landfall in Mississippi since Hurricane Katrina in 2005. Nate triggered Hurricane <clears throat> tropical storm and storm surge warnings across the swath of Gulf, 
Gulf states, as residents braced for the third hurricane to hit the U.S. mainland in just six weeks, officials warned coast coastal communi communities of the storm surge. It a rise in water level as the storm approaches the shore. That's it for the weather. See you next week. Good morning, Woodrow Wilson Middle School. I'm Savannah. And I'm Lexi with the lunch news this week. On Monday, the choices are crispitos, cheese, pizza, yogurt with the Nutri-Grain bar, chef salad with a breadstick. On Tuesday, the choices are spicy chicken nuggets with the roll, meatball hoagie, chef salad, breadstick, yogurt, breadstick. On Wednesday, the choices are Southwest burger with a bun, on a bun, corn dog, yogurt, and a breadstick. On Thursday, the choices are large pretzel with cheese, hot pocket yogurt, breadstick, chef salad, breadstick. On Friday, the choices are hot ham and cheese, roll up, barbecue rib on a bun, and yogurt with a muffin. Now, now on, on to your, your food food. Food facts. <laughs> Did you know Coca-Cola originally contains drugs? Did you know that there is no butter in buttermilk? Did you know that it takes one week to make a jelly bean? Did you know that apples are more effective at waking you up in the morning than coffee? I hope, hope you, you enjoyed this. See you next week, Wilson. My name is Dylan. I'm here with Athlete of the Week. The athlete is Joe Flacco. He was born on January 16th. 1985. He is an NFL quarterback. He played college football at Delaware after transferring from Pittsburgh and was drafted by the Ravens in the first round of the 2008 NFL Draft. Flacco has become known for his outstanding performance in the postseason, having established a career playoff record of 10 and 5 and holding the record for most postseason road victories by a quarterback in his early years in 2003 as part of the Pittsburgh Panthers football team. Flacco was red-shirted at the Panthers football team. Flacco was red-shirted as a freshman for a team that went 8 and 5 in 2004. He was the backup quarterback finding limited playing time behind starter Tyler Placco. He only saw action in three three games against Ohio University 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 of Nebraska and the University of South Florida. And that is it for Athlete of the Week. What's up, Wilson? I'm Steven. And I'm Kylie. With the Actors of the Week. Starting off with Actor of the Week, we have Tom Cruise. In his first movie, Endless Love, in 1981, he played a minor role in it and was barely noticed. Then in 2000, he made Mission Impossible 2. He played a major role as Ethan Hunt as the main character and made $75 million for it. Then in 2010, he made a movie, Night and Day, and played a role as Roy Miller and made $11 million off of the movie. Now in 2017, from the movie, from the Mummy, he played Nick Morton and made 22 million dollars. Now to Kylie with the other actor of the week. Andrew Lincoln, aka Rick Grimes, starred in The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead first aired in 2010. Nobody knows when The Walking Dead will come to an end because nobody has put out an end date yet. Andrew Lincoln makes. 90,000 per episode, and he makes 1.44 million a year. 
Alright guys, this was Steven and Kylie. We'll see you next week, Wilson. Hi, I'm Alejandro and I am here with the TV News of the Week. Ghosted is American Supernatural sitcom that premiered on Fox on October 1st, 2017. The series had a preview on social media on September 21st and 24th, 2017. The show stars Craig Robinson and Adam Scott as two polar opposites recruited to investigate paranormal activity in Los Angeles. The series will follow a skeptic and a genius true believer in the paranormal who are recruited by an organization called Burial Underground to investigate a series of unexplained act activities that are occurring in the Los Angeles area which are supposed tied to a mysterious and activities that are occurring in the Los Angeles area which are supposedly tied to a mysterious and tidy that could threaten <laughs> the existence of the human species. The characters are Craig Robinson as Leroy Wright, a mall cop, former police detective who has fired from L from the LAPD fr after his partner was killed during a call. He, ha he has a nephew he is close to Adam Scott as Max, Jennifer as a bookstore employee and former Stanford professor. He wrote a book on his multiverse. His wife was abducted by aliens and he was fired from Stanford University when no one believed him. And that is it for the TV News of the Week. Welcome back to the Top 10 Music Countdown. This is the Top 10 Music Countdown. The first song is Bodic Yellow Money Moves by Cardi B. The second song is Rockstar by Post Malone featuring 21 Savage. The third song is Look What You Made Me Do by Taylor Swift. The fourth song is 1-800-273-8255 by Logic featuring Alicia Carr and DJ Khaled. The fifth song is De Despacito by Luke Fonzi and Daddy Yankee featuring Justin Bieber. The sixth song is Unforgettable by French Montana featuring Sway Lee. The seventh song is Feel Still by Portugal the Man. The eighth song is Believer by Imagine Dragons. The ninth song is Break It Up by Yo Gotti featuring Nicki Minaj. I'm Haley. And I am McKenna. And that is it for the Top 10 Music Countdown. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Morning, Woodrow Wilson Middle School. We are here with Alexis Marr, Ebony Pierce, and Emily Happy. Chloe Kardashian makes first public appearance since pregnancy news pictures. Britney Spears heads back to Vegas to help people in need from the mass shooting. Ryan Gosling has paid tribute to his beloved dog George in several, several ways since he passed away at age 17 in December. Someone changed Fast and Furious release date from 2019 to 2020. Gibson hinted that the delay had something to do with the planned spinoff involving Johnson's character, Luke Hobbs. Ariana Grande dyed her hair a totally unexpected color, white. Jason Aldean returned to Las Vegas one week after mass shooting. Justin Bieber is dating Paula Pollen. Miley Cyrus cries while thanking Hillary Clinton for giving her the confidence. Dwayne Wade speaks out after Gabriella Union's miscarriage revelation. Andrew Grammer weighs in on Taylor Swift's and Katy Perry's feud. This, this is, is it, it for, for the latest celebrity, celebrity gossip. See you next week, Wilson. Hello, Wilson. This is the Wilson Buzz's Book Reviews. Today we're talking about The Distance Between Lost and Found by Katherine Holmes. This book is about a girl named Hallelujah. Hallelujah is super unhappy and doesn't want to make friends because of what happened between her and a kid named Luke in the year before. She lost all of her friends, including her friend Jonah, who was friends with Luke and didn't believe Hallelujah's side of the story. A year later, she goes to a youth group camp 
to hike in the mountains and she meets this girl Rachel who tries to become her friend. Rachel is new and doesn't know what happened between Hallelujah and Luke. However, when the church youth group camp is on their hike, Hallelujah can't take having someone be nice to her and pushes Rachel away. Rachel gets upset with her and stops trying to talk to Hallelujah. Luke is in charge of making sure nobody falls in the river while crossing, but lets Hallelujah fall in on purpose. Hallelujah gets frustrated. Rachel tells Hallelujah she's going to leave the group to go off on her own because the camp is not going so well. Hallelujah tells Rachel she's going with her and apologizes for being rude. Jonah sees they're leaving and decides to follow, so the three of them go off on their own, but they get lost. This book is pretty good. It's not amazing or anything. It's just okay. It was interesting and entertaining, but it's not super exciting in my opinion. I thought this book was good, but the other people might not because it's kind of cheesy. But if you like books like Backlash, which was a lot better than this book in many ways, and other realistic fiction, you might like this book too. So I would recommend this book if you really just need something to read because it's not super great, but it's okay. Goodbye, Wilson, and keep on reading. Four years after the events of Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2, The Avengers, turn apart after the events of Captain America, Civil War. Join forces with the Guardians of the Galaxy to battle Thanos, who is trying to amass the Infinity Stones for the gauntlet that will allow him to inflict his will on all reality. Michael Matten, please come to the office. Michael Matten, to the office, please. The Shrews, formerly known as Captain America, the leader of a function of Avengers who, during World, World War II, has enhanced to the... Can I get C.C. and Caleb Hunt to the office? C.C. Caleb Hunt to the office, please. Caleb Hunt, please come to the office. Also, Leanne Martin, will you please call 15530? Leanne, 15530. To the peak of human... Felicity, by the extremational semen frozen in suspended anim animation before waking up in the modern world. The Russell brothers hinted the Roger, that Rogers would no longer go by Captain America in the film, exploring, I think, him dropping that shield at the end of Captain America's Silver War is him letting go of that identity and admitting that essentially the identity of Captain America was in the conflict with the very personal choice that he was making. Joe was now added his responsibility responsibility to himself. Is now in Logan Rasky and Ethan Campbell, please come to the office. Logan Rasky and Ethan Campbell to the office, please. In conflict with his responsibility to others, and he will struggle to resolve that his road forward involves figuring out who Steve Rogers is without the shield. Avengers Infinity War is scheduled to be released in the United States. Kingdom on April 27th, 2018, and in the United States on May 4th, 2018. That's it for the comic book movie of the week. Hi, I'm Brayden here with comic book movie of the week. Hi, I'm Brayden here with the comic book of the week. I'm here with Brayden. Uh, Hi, I'm Brayden. Hi, I'm Brayden, and we're here with the com comic book news of the week. Hello, Hello Wilson. It's Anthony, Anthony and every online, online games game. of the week is Clicker Heroes. There are many monsters and many heroes. To beat the monsters, you click on your Chrome. These are the monsters. The monsters will be sorted by the level you can find them on. There is Angry Potato, Catra, Gerbil, Gerbil Pillar, Gloop, Flower Gloop, Finky, Luggernaut, Mushroom Gloop, Sasquish, Spitflower, and Tyrantula. Oh. 
are all found in the first five stages. There are two boss possibilities. You can get either Mama Furry Fat Bat or, ang or Big Angry Potato. The heroes will be sorted by base price, lowest to highest. There is Sid the Helpful Adventurer. He's the first one you get when you level him up. You get higher damage per click. There are many more, such as Tree Beast, Ivan the Drunken Baller, Brawler, Brittany the Beach Princess, the Wandering Fisherman, Betty Clicker, the Masked Samurai, and Leon. There are a lot of levels. My game is CarArena.io. It's a game where you play as a car who drives around running over other cars that are lower level than you. You level up by smashing little faces around the map. And if you smash enough, you level up cars. And if you get big enough, you can be on the leaderboard. You can play with friends and face them on your Chrome or computer. You can level up so many times, but it gets harder to level up each time. Also, if you touch the red parts, you die and start over. Also, if your car changes from car to truck, um, as you level up. <clears throat> and, and that's it for online games, games of, of the week. week. See you yeah. next time, Wilson. Hey, I'm Wilson, and welcome to How It Came to Be. This week's topic, Xbox. The original Xbox was released on November 15, 2001 in North America, February 22, 2002 in Japan, and March 14, 2002 in Australia and Europe. It was Microsoft's first foray into the gaming console market. The name Xbox came from a contraction of Direct Xbox, a reference to Microsoft graphic, Graphics API DirectX. The integrated Xbox Live service launched in November 2002 allowed players to play games online without a broadband connection. The Xbox 360 was released as, as a successor of the original Xbox in November 2005. Competing with Sony's PlayStation 3 and Nintendo's Wii as part of the seventh generation of video game consoles, as of June 30th, 2013, 78.2 million Xbox 360 consoles have been sold worldwide. The Xbox 360 was, ofi was officially unveiled on MTV on May 12th, 2005, with detailed launch and game information later divulged later that month at E3. The console sold out completely upon release in all re regions except for Japan, except in Japan. The Xbox 360 showed an expanded Xbox Live service, which had the ability to, to, to stream multimedia content from PCs, while later updates added the ability to purchase and stream music, telev television programs, and films through the Xbox Music and Xbox Video services, along with access to third-party content services through third-party media streaming applications. At their E3 presentation on June 14, 2010, Microsoft announced a redesigned Xbox 360 that would ship on, this, on the same day. The redesigned console is slimmer than the previous Xbox 360 model, which had an optical, out, optical audio output, five <laughs> USB 2.0 ports, and special port designed for the Kinect peripheral. peripheral. Older models of the Xbox 360 have since been discontinued. The, the first new console to be re to be released features a 250 gigabyte hard drive, which with a later, less expensive 4 gigabyte internal storage. <coughs> the Xbox One is home to what I know of 300 or more games, but it also has an original space of 8 gigabytes. Not that much, but a 2 terabyte hard drive is enough to store over 100 games. But if you think that is enough, no, no. The Xbox One X has already has already one terabyte, which is good. But you know the hard drives give you even bigger three terabytes with that hard drive. But the Xbox One S is just the same storage as the Xbox One, but smaller than it. Also, the Xbox One S and the X and X have better graphics. So yeah, this, this has this been how, how it came, came to be. be. Hello Wesley, I'm Christian and you are watching YouTubers of the Week. Evan Fong, better known as his online allies, Vanos Gaming, or simply Vanos, is a Canadian video game commentator. He produces his content on YouTube centered on playing popular video games with other YouTubers. As of August 2017, Fong's channel has over 7 billion video views and 21 million subscribers on YouTube, making it the 17th most subscribed channel on YouTube. Vanos plays Dead by Daylight, a series he started playing with his friends. 
In many of his videos, he wasn't able to escape from the killer and sometimes causes the Jenner to explode, which annoys his friends and usually gets killed in the process. He has yet to become the killer. Thanks for watching YouTubers of the Week. Welcome everyone, this is Billboard's Top 10 Jokes of the Week. Joke number 10 is, what do you call a funny mountain? Hilarious. Jazz, it's your turn. Oh yeah, sorry. Joke number 9 is, did you hear about the claustrophobic astronaut? Well, he just needed a, a little space. That was a good joke, but did you hear in number 8 that scientists don't trust atoms? Well, it's because the atoms make up everything. In number 7, I've always wondered what a noisy pepper does. I'm pretty sure he gets jalapeno business. And in number six, we wonder what has four wheels and flies. A garbage truck. For number five, why did the kid study on the plane? To get a higher education. Next up in number four, why do the humming birds hum? Because they don't know the words. Coming up in number three, we have Dear Audible, stop telling me to find your ex. She's gone, I don't know why. And next up for number two, why don't people play in the jungle? Because there's too many cheetahs. And last but not least, what do you call a group of unorganized cats? A, a catastrophe. catastrophe. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this week's segment.